Today I am very pleased and proud to announce the incoming coalition ministry. Uh, this is the team to provide strong and stable government. Uh, this is the team that builds on a strong and effective, united and cohesive opposition. Uh, it is, I believe, one of the most experienced incoming ministries in our history. And I think it's important to have experience uh, as you move uh, from opposition to government. Uh, our task, uh, as you know, is to purposefully, methodically, calmly implement the commitments that we made to the Australian people in the election and to respond intelligently uh, to the events of the day. And I believe this is a team more than up for that task. Uh, if you go through the list, uh, you'll see that uh, there is enormous stability uh, in this team, but there have been as well uh, some significant promotions. Uh, if you look at the list of the Cabinet, uh, Matthias Cormann uh, enters the Cabinet as the Minister for Finance. Uh, Andrew Robb becomes the uh, Minister for Trade and Investment. If you look at the Outer Ministry, uh, you'll see that uh, entering the Outer Ministry is uh, Senator Fiona Nash as the Assistant Minister for Health, uh, Senator Michaelia Cash as the Assistant Minister for Immigration and Border Protection, uh, Jamie Briggs as the Assistant Minister for Infrastructure and Regional Development, who will be particularly responsible for the commitment that the Coalition has uh, to building the roads of the 21st century, and of course uh, my friend uh, and parliamentary colleague, uh, Senator Arthur Senadinas, who was previously uh, my shadow parliamentary secretary. Uh, if you look at the ranks of parliamentary secretaries, uh, the newcomers are Steve Chobo, who is returning uh, to the executive after an absence of three years, uh, Paul Fletcher, who is the parliamentary secretary to the Minister for Communications, uh, Josh Frydenberg and Alan Tudge, who will be parliamentary secretaries to me, uh, and Michael McCormack, who will be the parliamentary secretary to the Minister for Finance. Uh, uh, others. Uh, have previously served uh, in the opposition executive. Uh, you may notice that uh, one of the things that I have attempted to do uh, with this new ministry uh, is avoid the proliferation of titles, uh, the sometimes grandiose titles uh, of the former government where it sometimes seemed that uh, ministers needed an extra large business card to contain all of their various uh, titles. For instance, I note that uh, Mr Emerson in uh, Ms Gillard's final ministry was the Minister for Trade and Competitiveness, Minister assisting the Prime Minister on Asian Century Policy and Minister for Tertiary Education, Skills, Science and Research. I've tried to avoid all of that. Um, most ministers have a very simple title. Um, uh, the ministers in the outer ministry uh, are mostly uh, described as assistant minister for health, education, infrastructure, whatever it might be, because I am determined, as far as is humanly possible, to have uh, clear lines of authority uh, and uh, a back to basics government. There is one woman in Cabinet. Do mm -hmm. you think that gender imbalance mm -hmm. compared with the general population is an issue? Hugh, I'm obviously disappointed that there aren't uh, more women in Cabinet and if Sophie Mirabella had uh, uh, been um, clearly ahead in Indi, uh, Sophie would be in the Cabinet. Uh, so plainly I am disappointed that there are not at least two women in the Cabinet. Nevertheless, there are some very good and talented women um, knocking on the door of the Cabinet and there are lots of good and talented women uh, knocking on the door of the ministry. So uh, I think you can expect to see, uh, as time goes by, more women in both the cabinet and the ministry. Mr. Mr. Why, then, why then is there only one woman who's a parliamentary secretary? If you want to prepare for the future and the appointment of women in the cabinet, 
shouldn't you be bringing women into the lower rungs right now? Why is one woman there? Well, as I said, uh, there are strong and capable women uh, knocking on the door of the Cabinet and there are strong and capable women uh, knocking on the door uh, of the Ministry and uh, two of the four new faces in the outer Ministry are, are female. I did, as all of you would know, uh, have to shrink down uh, the overall opposition executive. Uh, there were, I think, from memory, 47 members of the opposition executive uh, prior to the election. Um, under statute, I'm limited to 42, um, so there were inevitably going to be some people who uh, would, under other circumstances, have been in the ministry but can't be today.